Hello everyone, welcome back to APGT channel. So um, today we are going to talk about how we are going to do product package with our area partner based on sub product. So we are, why we are going to raise this topic here is because although we cannot do any attraction activities for now, but then it's very important that we are actually master how different our area partner is and then also what are the selling point and qualifications from each subproduct based on even JD requirements. All right, so let's just start with our topic today. So before we really start, uh, I'm gonna to ask you a question. How are you currently pa packaging your subproduct with these elements within LCR subproduct? So the questions means that um, how you are actually allocating the focus for each LC based on IR partner and also subproducts. Before we talk about the packaging, we need to be more uh, detailed in identify what are the different people's role inside of this. So as you can see for LCOGT, they are being very clear about what is the major, right? And then they know their university, usually the graduates, what is their interests, and then they can also see some certain reports from their career development department about the alumni career path or they can be able to find on LinkedIn or somewhere to know uh, how is their alumni are doing in what kind of industry. And then also, so they will be able to tell you what is the persona they can have and also what are the positions to focus. Like uh, it is, they can target junior or they can only target for senior. And then for MCOGT, you will be able to tell like how is your overall LC capacity, like a month of the applications or signups they can actually target and then the markets which means the your IR partners you know that uh, this country can actually have the demand for us and then also the product to focus you know after uh, like combining the situation and information from LC level and other entity level then you will be able to know what are the key sub products to focus and then for MCIGT what they can provide you is about timeline demand needs uh, opportunities ca category because for some entity if they are very in a very big scale then maybe they cannot be able to tell you in a very detailed way about the JD or something but then their LC can so their LC is highly controlling their process and the, also the position and JD information so how you are going to match all of these together like who do what and then how you are going to sort out so first is that in last month we were launching this just in case you don't know. So why we need to talk about product packaging is that it's very important that you are presenting your products in a very easy, clear way for your customer. So they will be able to know what is the va value behind why they need to buy and then what are the benefits they can get or any solutions to helping them to solve their pains. And then we were giving you some introductions about uh, how you can actually align the value propositions with each other and then make it specific with your OGT entities. And what are the packages should I choose based on sub product or entity partnership? And then uh, in last commission call, we were also talking about the content mapping, like in different, uh, different based of packaging, you can actually, uh, how you are going to map out your campaigns. So if you don't know, you can check here. So for today, we are going to a little bit more detail. So uh, for this is that you can see if you wanna do a product packaging and how you can make your life very clear and easier is that you can have a sub product brief here and then making sure that you are also designing the key JDs because uh, it's uh, what I can, what I can know, uh, what is that observe from the network is that most of the time we are aligning this, but then for the JDs, we are not really aligned with the entities in a very detailed way. So IGT people doesn't necessarily sell based on the JDs that you can provide, but where that, that JD comes from is coming from your persona, from your LC. So again, back to the, back to, eh? why I cannot back? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so again, back to the here, what we were mentioned, like, so LC should be able to provide you about the JDs, and then you are just to, to choose what is the main focus 
about the sub products that you can be able to focus. And the second is about the country and then the impact of these projects, why these people should be able to go. So last time, last week, I, I was having a one-to-one -one with uh, Sri Lanka. And then uh, I think they are very good at like attracting people to the product. But then when it comes to, for example, why people should be a why people should go to india or why people should go to work for engineering in egypt so these kind of answers if you are not be able to tell your network then it will be very hard for you to actually consult your people to apply for some certain countries about certain jds and then the next part is about why customer in this market should join these products so which means this is actually requires you how deeply you are understanding the pains of your customer. And then after they join, what can be the learnings and benefits? And in the end, these are all of the internal process or services that we are providing for them. So here is an example that you can actually see. For example, uh, the Saproda is marketing in SME. And then these are the key JDs that we can provide. And then the key countries that we are going to focus it can be multiple because uh, if you wanna, for example, Taiwan wants to focus on marketing, right? So you can list down all of the countries that you are you are trying to sell, uh, trying to sell, and then identify what is the key trends or uh, general summary about each selling points for each country. So people will be able to know like why marketing in India, uh, like for example, marketing in India is like that, and the marketing in MOC is like that. The things that they are learning and then the for, uh, like the software or the websites or the strategy they are taking is totally different. Like these are something that you should be able to educate your LC to understand. And then at the same time, what is the, what is the requirements and also impact from the projects and why customer they should join and then all of the like timeline or details, like something like that. So in a very, simple way you can see is that so for this part it's all serving for your marketing so you are designing your key message based on the this part okay and then for this part you are mainly it's mainly serving for your sales so when you are trying to do the conversion or design the contents for your list nurturing so you should be able to tell uh you can generate the answers from people and then for here will be the customer experience so how you are actually present what are the different uh what are the special points from our customer experience for example compared with linking we are highly involved in the all selection process and even if you apply your opportunities on linking you will not be able to see each application's status so these are some very single different points that you can emphasize from your for yourself and then when you attract your customer so uh so if you want to know more about i mean if you haven't finished your sub products packaging uh this is something that you can actually start to do it and then i do believe this can also help you to have a much more smooth change with the G and GT business model change management because the concept behind is similar. It's just the, the different thing that it's, it might be going to change would be here and also the durations. So uh, yeah, so Harvest of Learning, what we have done well regarding product packaging and then also after you learn the space of product packaging today, what are the things that you think I still need to improve. Okay, so dun, 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 dun. who wants to go first? Actually, mm, I think that for my side that we, I for the future, that is to focus, let LC more focus on the focus the product to do the package. And the mm -hmm. second is to align with, to help with to help them to align the IR partner, to help them to develop the LC to LC partnership, yeah. Mm. Amazing, yeah. And then I think for LC to LC partnership, it's very important for you to, you know, like you, 
you should you should facilitate your LC to choose their focus JDs, uh, because they are having very micro market, right? They know which major, and then they know, uh, for example, like maybe this group of people they are all interested into marketing the product, and then. Uh, as an MC, what you can provide is the information of uh, all over the world about the opportunities your IR partners have for different kind of JDs. And then what they can do with you is that they are going to provide you about what are the key JDs they can provide for under the marketing sub product. So in the end, MC and LC are being very strong in making sure the alignment and how, when you design the product package, you are having very clear focus not just on a uh, sub product, but then it's actually this uh, into the JD level because JD is actually uh, describing the personas that you are having in your market, right? Uh, okay, amazing. Nice, I hope you are going to improve that. Okay, so I hope today's space is useful for you and then you are actually learn a little bit more deeply about how we are going to do a better product package with our IR partner, and most importantly, it's based on the sub product. So, if you have any question, you can check the video description about to find the links about the materials. And see you next time. Bye.